All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, uh, you know, we will answer some Muslims Abdul's from the comments, and uh, you know, we have an update from our friend who called us yesterday. You know, when they call me, they are like, you know, rabbits, and then when they hang up in the in the comment section, they call me names. So yesterday we have this guy. His name is what uh, Qasim, something like this. So uh, I will play a little bit of what he said to you, uh, to you, not to me, because the purpose is supposed to is to lie to you. Uh, just to refresh your memory, just to show you how easy to prove Muslims are, you know, when they, how they lie when they defend their cult. Never take Islam from Muslims because Muslims never share Islam, the true Islam, with you as long you are not a Muslim. And even sometimes they lie to themselves. If you remember yesterday, this person, he called me, and he is the one who chose the topic. Just to refresh your memory. And by the way, if you are there in the chat, let me know so I can take your call because yesterday you hang up and you run away. So this is what he said to me yesterday. You didn't take it off. So this is from the previous call. Now he will call me soon. An elephant or elephant, it, it says elephant. So you stupid, you cannot take it off unless it's not part of the name. We have Muhammad Qasim waiting. Go ahead. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, my friend, how are you? Good, good. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, so do you want to have a debate on, on the breastfeeding verse? Oh, you want to talk about breastfeeding? Go ahead. Yeah, so if you can give me a time to speak. Sure, no problem. I'm listening, my friend. Go ahead. Okay, firstly, you know the, uh, the hadith that you put, um, started off the discussion with, which was about uh, goat eating the verse? That's actually weak. And uh, oh, it's weak. the takhrid of it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's weak. If you look, Muhammad ibn Ishaq is narrating with the word an, which hmm. makes it weak. Uh, you can find the scholars grading it in Shu'aib, um, Sheikh Shu'aib Arnut. Okay. Uh, he's classed as weak in the classification of Muslim Ahmad. Hmm. So, this narration about goat eating, that's the, that part is weak. Um, but even though, even let's say if it was uh, reliable, right? Mm -hmm. I think Darul Salam they they put it as Hassan. Mm -hmm. uh, even if he is reliable, it doesn't take away from the ijma of the Sahaba, the consensus of the Sahaba that mm -hmm. the Quran is preserved. So that's one thing. Um, okay, we'll talk about the breastfeeding. What, what is the verse? Okay, my friend, what is the verse of a breastfeeding for adult in the Quran then? Like I said, it's weak. You know, it's weak like I said, it's weak. Like I said, it's weak. Like I said, it's weak. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, even the page there, it says it is Hassan, which means good. For those cowards, because they are ashamed of their prophet and their cult, now they are trying to make it... By the way, even weak is accepted. So this is what he says, weak. Weak is accepted. So when you call it weak, you idiot. It's not rejected. There's rejected and there is accepted. So weak, it had a rank. It's not thrown out as... A, what his name, uh, Sheikh Hamza, he said. He says, those who use the weak hadith as an argument, this is a weak argument. But look at this now. I will ask him, okay, what about the verses? I ask him, what is the verses of uh, 10 time breastfeeding? Where we can find those verses? Forget about the goat eating the Quran. Because now he says the Quran is preserved, right? Okay. Hmm. Uh, even if it is reliable, it doesn't take away from the ijma of the Sahaba. The consensus of the Sahaba that mm. the Quran is preserved. So that's one thing. Um, okay, what, talk about the what, what is the verse? Okay, my friend, what is the verse of a breastfeeder for adult in the Quran then? Like I said, it's weak. <laughs> it's no. weak hadith. So if there is if there is verses given to Muhammad about breastfeeding for adult or not? Not for adult. No, not for adult. Just to show you how easy, you know, this guy he hang up yesterday, he run and his tail between his legs. And he was saying, uh, go and see Fifi answering Christian Prince. You and Fifi and Mimi and Didi don't dare. You see, this is why you run away, you potato. This is Sahih Muslim. I remember he is the one who said Sahih Muslim is accepted. Sahih Bukhari is accepted. This is Sahih Muslim saying. 
I will make every everybody in the world laugh at you and your at your profit. Both of you are a scam. Do you think really those Muslims do not know that this is not a weak hadith? Don't you think that they are lying to their teeth? I mean, why he is saying no? The Prophet did not give ten. Allah did not give verses of ten time of adult for uh, you know. Uh, uh, for Muhammad or for the Muslims. Why he said that? It's in the front of you. What came from the Quran, it was 10 time breastfeeding. 10 time breastfeeding. What is the verses of 10 time breastfeeding? And which ones ever mentioned? The only one we know is it is for adult and if the Quran is preserved so the Quran had or supposed to have 10 time breastfeeding for adult or even if you want to say not for adult where we can find them and then it says and this is what is why yesterday he hang up when I asked him he said it's abrogated I said where it's abrogated where is the abrogation in the comment section he posted hadith about the abrogation but where are they in the Quran where is the 10 10 time breastfeeding in the Quran and where is the five time breastfeeding in the Quran it's not there so they lie to their teeth because they are ashamed of their book. Muslim scholars, they have articles. Confirming that this is a true hadith, that the breastfeeding for adult is absolutely true. Nobody says this is Daif. You will notice when he was speaking to me, he says that part where the goat ate it, it's weak. Since when you can take a part and you don't accept the rest. The hadith is a hadith. You take it, you leave it. That part. So the rest is true. Hmm? They cannot maintain their religion or protect their religion without lying. Look how many times this is reported. Look how many times. So where is... And you know... <laughs> he was saying that Rida is to drink milk. But it's even here in the hadith here is explaining how to suck it. لا تحرم المصة ولا المصتان. And he was saying this is not about direct touch. Yeah, so this is how those potatoes, you know, they try to defend their religion because they are bankrupt and anything is embarrassing, they say to you, it is weak. In the same time, even their website, it says good. And then they say, well, the scholars, they differ about it. I mean, what kind of a scholars this religion has? They cannot agree about anything. And the funny, he says the Sahaba, they agree with it. What Sahaba? Where is the Sahaba who agree with that, you idiot? He named for me people, they are not companion of Muhammad. And this is Aisha, the wife of their prophet, saying that, and the wife of the prophet, she is practicing breastfeeding for adult. I asked him, was she a filthy woman? She said, no, this is her opinion. But why the wife of Muhammad, none of the caliphate at his, in her time, her father, her father, became a caliphate Uthman Omar why none of them says to her shame on you to do that this is wrong 
Not a single person said that to her. So anything is shameful, anything is disgrace to this cult, which is everything, everything is about this cult is disgrace. Right away, the Muhammadan, they try to deny it and to cancel it from their religion and their culture. And as long as it's proven to have 10 verses, 10 time, sorry, 10 time breastfeeding, who can recite for us those verses? And who can recite the verses of the five time? Can you? Cowardly, they hang up, they run away because they knew what it's coming. And then they said to themselves, we can save ourselves by posting comment in the comment section. Oh, this verse is abrogated. The second you said it's abrogated is the same second you agreed that this was for every woman, not for that woman alone. Remember he said, oh, that was for only for that woman. And then when we ask him, okay, what, what is the purpose? Do, if a man, he drink milk of a woman, of, from a woman, is that going to forbid him from having sex with her or she can be still lawful for him? He said, still she can be lawful. So what the point? You see, they just to prove to us that the prophet is a perverted sex maniac person. He is mentally ill. He's making fun of them. So if that will not do any change, the man still can have sex with her and he will not be considered as her son, which is very stupid religion to be to believe that somebody drinks some your, your make became your son. And the Muslim, they say today to you that the Hindu are wrong when the fact they are following Hindu culture. This is Hinduism. You drink the milk of the cow, the cow is a mother. So as long a man, he sucked the nipples of a woman, or even he claimed that he drank the milk, still he can have sex with her and he can even marry her. So what the point of this? You see the stupidity? But by time, the Muslims, they notice how stupid this is. So they start to bury it. And this is what they are doing until now. Okay. So no, there's, nothing, there's nothing concrete to, to suggest that there was a verse okay. about uh, So to, to, to understand what you are saying, you know, we are listening. Uh, you are saying it is weak, even though the website says it's good. Yeah, the scholars have differed upon it, so it's not reliable. Uh, so who, who is the scholar who can decide what is good, what is bad in Islam? Like, it's up to you? No, I've, I've told you this is muhaddith. These, these are muhaddith. And they have said that this is... And you know, funny, he don't speak Arabic, and then he throw Arabic word at us. This is muhaddith, muhaddith. Okay, what did muhaddith mean? Well, this is someone who's uh, reporting, narrating. Stupid. I mean, look at the stupidity. Is it all the thing is somebody narrating something for you? No, this is muhaddith, muhaddith. This is muhaddith, this is muhaddith. And because people do not know Arabic, suppose he said, like, said, like he said, a word have to do with a nuclear weapon. See the stupidity? Do you see how dumb they are? Muhaddith, it is Muhaddith, it is Muhaddith. So in their Islamic website, it is Sahih or good in the worst scenario. In their speeches in YouTube, oh, we don't accept it. What kind of religion and what kind of God? He says such a thing. And look, when he when they say to us that it was ten time and Allah he made it five. I mean, don't you see this is something stupid? Why why Allah he lowered the dose? <laughs> if five can do, why he did not say five from the beginning? Do you see the stupidity? Why it was 10 and then it became 5? Allah is saving electricity? Allah is going green? Either 5 is good and then there's no need for 10. And don't Allah, he knew what is best? So obviously the best is 5. So why Allah says 10 and then he changed it to 5? What is this? Allah, he noticed later that 10 is too much? What is the... 
this. How this is can be from God? God, he says 10 times, and then two weeks after, God says make it five. Why? What happened? He thought that Arab women, their breast is bigger. They turn to be smaller or versus you know, the opposite. This God, he changed his rules like a cartoon. Look at this guy. Just to show you the stupidity of the Abdul. Hey, Abdul, do you like to call me and to, read, to tell me what you want to say? Abdullah Ibrahim. Yeah, this is uh, the same as uh, what his name, the kid Uthman. He was saying to David Wood, <laughs> the, the Bible says the property, <laughs> property, the Bible says the property, <laughs> property, <laughs> property, you stupid. The whole Quran says, Malakat Aymanakum. Christian Prince, you are a coward. Bible promotes slavery, yet you speak nothing of it and just go to the Quran, you fool. You are nothing but a coward. The coward is the one who ran to Ethiopia to hide from his people. His name is Muhammad. He ran to the Christians. He bowed down in front of a Christian king, kissing his shoes, asking him for protection. And when they asked him, what do you think about Isa or Jesus? He said, oh, amazing. After he left, he said, let's kill them. Coward. If we go to the Quran right now and we type the word Malakatul Yameen, we will find almost every chapter in the Quran speaking about the one you own by your hands, the property, who they are human. And how many slaves your prophet he, uh, <laughs> he, he own? <laughs> How many, how many slaves Jesus he owned and how many slaves Muhammad he owned? A hundred? Two hundred? You know, when, when, they, uh, 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 when they speak about slavery, this is an example of their deception and lies when all the Quran is about owning human beings. Islam not only promoted Islam, increased the number of slaves. The caliphate, they used to have tens of thousands of women, just women, just for breed dancing. They take the best of the women as beauty and they send them to the caliphate palace. Is that your prophet saying? And whatever you own of your right hand? Hmm? The translation says your hand possess when the Arabic says you own your right hand. So you see how they lie and they say the Bible promotes slavery. Slavery in the Bible is seven years maximum and you offer yourself as a slave. Simply, you offer a service for someone, you own him money or you cannot live, make a living. So you say to him, I want to be your slave for uh, five years. In return, you feed me, you feed my family, etc. And you maybe even you pay him. Here, you capture people and you enslave them. Is that your Quran? Where are you, Abdul? The one who said slavery. Is Bilal the slave of your prophet? Is Mary the cook is the slave of your prophet? How many slaves your prophet he have? As long as Muhammad is against slavery, how come he did not free them? The poor Bilal, he, in Muhammad he died and still he is seeking freedom. Slave be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling and sincere. So, okay. Yeah. You see the stupidity here? Slave be obedient. This is the Christians asking the Christians. Those are Christians. Those slaves are Christians. They are asking them not to be a rebellion and not to go violence. This is not promoting slavery, you coward, son of Muta. And your prophet, he copied from the Bible the same. Is it he who said, even if he whip your back and steal your money? Your prophet. 
even if he whip your back and let me show you the hadith <laughs> you have no idea what you are talking about and you have no idea you are talking to who let us show you the hadith and this is sahih <clears throat> um, where is the hadith Here we go. You want to laugh? Just to show you the thief Muhammad, he is trying to copy, but he made a very stupid statement, as usual. Read with me and laugh. You will listen to the Emir, your master, and carry out his orders, even if your back is flogged and your wealth is a snatch you should listen and obey. Do you see it, Abdul? You are so cute like your prophet. Do you see it? Are you there, Abdul, Abdul Rahim? Are you there? Even if he beat the hell of you, you have to carry his order. Even if he flog you, you have to carry his order. Even if he steal your worth, you have to carry his order. Are you there? Don't play dead now. You see those stupid things you can go and say in different place, not with me. I know all the laundry of Muhammad. All your prophet laundry is here. Huh? Slave, okay, okay, I'm showing you, no problem. This is the Christian asking the Christian not to be rebellion and not to do violent because if they don't obey, then they will go, you know, bloodshed. Either you kill your master or the master kill you. So this is not about being a slave. This is about not to be violence. Now I'm asking you what kind of a prophet he ordered you to obey a thief and to obey an unjust person, even if he beat you your back, even if he flog you, and even if he steal your money, still you have to carry his order and obey him. You see how hypocrite they are? The verse in the Bible you mentioned because we don't want, we are against violence. We don't want violence. Anything will cause bloodshed is, 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 you know, this is a Christian speaking to the Christian. Those are slaves are Christians. You see, the verse is not speaking to the master because obviously he's not Christian. The verse is speaking to the Christians who they are slaves. Be patient. Don't be violent. Here, your prophet is giving you an order. If you disobey this person, you are against Allah. And you have to obey. Coward like your prophet. Don't forget to do breastfeeding for adult. Is that about slaves? Yeah, this is about anything. Anything, anyone is in charge of you. Not only about slaves, even about free. Doesn't matter. Anyone he have a threat over you, you have to obey. Even your prophet, he said that if a slave he married without the permission of his master, he is a whore. Is that correct? Or I'm making things up? Any Muslim want to say something? Uh, any Muslim want to say to me, you are... Uh, uh, liar. Anyone? Is it true that if a slave he married without permission of his master, in Islam he is a whore? Anyone? I'm waiting for somebody to say something. 
Can you say something? Anyone? Who wanna call me from the Abdul? Is that true? You guys, idol worshippers, a black stone kisser in the shape of a vagina. Look, look, look at this, look at this. I mean, the Muslims, they come to us and they say what they do and they put it on us. Can you believe it? Look, they are the one who kiss a black stone in the shape of a vagina and actually it was a vagina always. And they claim that we worship, look, Look at this, just to show you. Right now, he changed the topic. He don't want to talk about slaves no more. Look at this. The black stone kisser, which is in the shape of a vagina, which is was a vagina always, talking about you guys are worshipping, you are idol worshipper, your God born, born out of a vagina. Okay, that's wonderful. So if I, my God is born out of a vagina, how your stupid God, he says he is holy? In chapter 19, verse number 19. Obviously, your God, he believe in a holy vagina then. Because if you're a stupid God, he'd say he is holy. Huh? That's mean this God, he worship vagina too, based on your logic. Praise be to Allah, the vagina worshiper. Here we go. This is your God, Allah, praising the person who is born of a vagina, saying the gift of a holy son. So what came from the vagina? A holy son. So your stupid God is a holy vagina believer. Now he will change the topic. Do you see how they change the topic? He don't want to talk about slave now. He want to talk about. <laughs> don't forget to do breastfeeding for adult, by the way. <laughs> and you know uh, why the prophet kissed the black stone and he must encounter us. I'm waiting for the answer. It's a challenge. Here we go. I will put my uh, 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 my screen on the chat. Who is the Muslim when I tell me why the Prophet, he kissed the black stone? You see, we are assuming now that you are not a pagan and you don't worship idols. I'm waiting for the answer. Why your God, or sorry, your Prophet, he kissed the black stone? I'm waiting. Hmm? Any Muslim can tell me? Look, the chat is coming. I don't see any Muslim giving an answer. Why Muhammad he kissed a black stone? Anyone? Remember, you are the one who says uh, pagan and etc. Let us see who is the pagan. Why you're a prophet he kissed the black stone? Are you Muslims looking for Google? Why I don't see an answer? Here we go. I put it in the you know, chat. I don't see one single Muslim giving the answer. Why you are a prophet? He kissed the black stone. I mean, this is, should be a very easy question to answer. Any Muslim can tell us? Let me make the chat slow so I can read it better. It's getting so too, too fast. Okay. We will make it 30 seconds. Or 20 seconds between two. Uh, what's wrong with this? Uh, it doesn't allow anything except maximum one second, maximum. So, why it's not allowed in me? My numbers are not working. Hold on, cancel. Guys, did any Muslim answer why Muhammad is a black stone? Did anyone answer? I did not see it because I was fixing the the speed uh, chat speed. Okay, I'm still waiting for a Muhammadan. I activated now slow chat so we can read better. So who is the Muslim can tell us why Muhammad kissed the black stone? Okay, you give us the headache, you give the Hindu headache, that you are not a pagan, you worship only one God. Okay, your prophet kissed the black stone, why? 